best sniper rifle in Battlefield Hardline. Now this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time because I say that I am primarily a sniper in this game and I really do like looking at all the snipers, their stats, and how they compare to one another. Now I put a poll out a couple weeks ago and a ton of you voted in it and that's really what I'm basing this video off of. You guys voted for these weapons and I will be going over them in this video, the top four snipers that came out and then one honorable mention. But before getting into this video, just like say, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield Hardline. And the next best weapon series is the best assault rifle. I'll have that poll linked down below in the description. Please vote in that because it really helps me make the next video. And that should come out probably next weekend, if not later. These videos take a long time to make, so don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. Now, the top four snipers, as you can see, voted by you guys were the M98B's number one, which kind of shocked me. With 25 votes, uh, which is 22% of all the votes, AWM, which actually made a huge climb, used to be sixth, um, up to second place with 20 votes. The Knockout, which again surprised me. I don't really think I have any gameplay with a knockout, however I compare these statistics. Um, I recently entered legendary mode on a stream because a lot of you guys wanted me to and I haven't unlocked the knockout since then. But I did a video a little ago talking about why the knockout needs a buff and that sort of sums up my opinion on the weapon. So if you want to check that out, don't forget to go and check out my channel. And fourth is the R700 LTR, my personal favorite as far as snipers go. And then the honorable mention will be the Scout Elite, which end up tied for fifth with a three-day recon, um, which I actually will not be going over in this video. Um, when I was working on this, um, I mainly worked on this about a week ago, and the three-day recon was seventh at that time. So I didn't think I needed to throw it in there, but it ended up finishing fifth. Um, then as we move down the ladder, M82 Barrett is seventh, and M1903 is eighth. Now we're going to hop into these stats of these snipers and sort of highlight why each of them individually is better than some of the other ones. So the M98B and all the other snipers do 100 max damage, uh, but the R700 and the AWM do 59 minimum damage, whereas the Knockout and the M98B only do 50 minimum damage. Um, so this basically means that these weapons are better at range. If you get a leg shot with the M90 AP or the knockout, it'll be a three shot kill at range. That's really the only main difference here. Um, if your enemy's damaged, you might get a lucky one hit kill every once in a while. But it's really just that leg shot thing. Uh, you can get a two shot leg kill with the R700 at ma and AWM at max range, whereas you only get a three shot leg shot with the M90 AP and the knockout. Now the next stat we're going to go over is the fire rate of these sniper rifles. I'm basically just going to go through each stat and tell you really which sniper stands out in that stat category. So in the damage minimum, it was the R700 and the AWM. And in the fire rate, it's again the R700, much faster than any other sniper rifle. So the R700 has a 51 round per minute rate of fire, which is very fast. And the knockout has a 36 round per minute rate of fire. The M98B fires at 27 rounds per minute, the slowest, and the AWM fires at 39 rounds per minute. Now, both the R700 and the AWM fire at 35 rounds per minute with Magnum rounds. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Now, the next category is the range start. So basically, the range that you get your one-hit kill. And this is where the M98B and the Knockout really shine. They both get their one hit kill out until 50 meters, which is very impressive. Whereas the R700 and the AWM only get theirs out until 30 meters, um, which is still really good, um, especially when compared to previous Battlefield games. And when you pair the R700's 51 round per minute rate of fire, the 30 meter one hit kill range, it's really awesome. But the M98 being the knockout um, have that further one hit kill range that just enhance those weapons. And that's really the only advantage of the knockout. Um, the M90B has another advantage and that's the range end. It ends at 125 meters. Um, so basically what this means is when the knockout does 50 minimum damage, 
the M98B is still does like 80 damage because at 80 meters, the M98B does around 80 damage, whereas the knockout's damage drop off has already ended. Um, honestly, though, once you get to 100 meters or roughly there, the M98B is going to lose to the R700 and the AWM because it'll drop below that around 59 minimum damage. But I just, again, it is an advantage of the gun, uh, which makes it really good for long range shooting in certain situations. Now, all the other, the M90B and the R700 both have a muzzle velocity of 480 meters per second. This is the only advantage of the AWM. It's an overall average sniper. I mean, it does 100 max damage, 59 minimum, 39 rounds per minute. It's just pretty good at everything, but it excels at the muzzle velocity at 550 meters per second. And the knockout really this is the downfall of the gun. It has a 300 meters per second muzzle velocity and a 15 meter per second bullet drop, whereas the other snipers have a 9.81 meters per second bullet drop. And this is basically the drawback that you get the knockout because it is a suppressed sniper rifle. So because of the fact that it's suppressed, it has a slower muzzle velocity and more bullet drop. Um, the reloads, in my opinion, don't really matter. They're all really close together, except for the AWM's long reload, 5.3 seconds. Um, just want to mention the magazine size. The M98B has the largest magazine size at 11 rounds, and all the other snipers have a magazine size of 6. Now, basically, other than that, uh, these snipers are very similar. The hip fire and all that kind of stuff is pretty similar, but for me personally, I like the R700 because overall it's just so balanced. It has that one hit kill range and the really fast rate of fire and this clip really demonstrates it i had just bought the weapon um after be i went legendary and i just saved up the money to buy this weapon this is the first time i'm using this weapon after a while um and i don't even need to get a feel for it i just this weapon really suits my play style and i mean a lot a lot of you too i mean 15 percent of you voted for this but <laughs> like again this is the first clip and I already have a feel for the sniper the headshot bullet drop and that kind of stuff and it just flows really nicely and the fast fire rate just lets you I mean it's just awesome it lets you track targets so much better because you know that if you miss your shot you don't have to pull off them because of that really long um reload speed and uh, that's another disadvantage to the m98b it does not have straight pull even though it does have built-in magnum rounds which is an advantage but it does not have straight pull um, i'm going to move into an honorable mention here which is the scout elite uh, this weapon is just different than all the other ones because it is the best long range sniper that's just a fact um, it does 75 max damage out until 45 meters and 51 minimum damage out until 90 meters and this basically means that this weapon is not a one-hit kill. However, it's a one-shot headshot at all range. This weapon was bumped down to 60 rounds per minute rate of fire, though, which is basically less than the difference between the R700 and the AWM. The R700 has a closer fire rate to the Scout Elite than it does the AWM. This is just because they nerfed it multiple times. At launch, it had a rate of fire of 83 rounds per minute, which is absolutely insane, but it still does have the fastest fire rate out of all the sniper rifles it has a 640 meters per second muzzle velocity which is again extremely fast for bolt action sniper rifles and the reloads not too bad either with that 11 round magazine um, it also has extremely low bullet drop and i just like this sniper for long range shooting it's the only sniper i have gold right now even though i'm at like 950 kills with both the R700 and the AWM. The Scout Elite, I just use it so much when the game launched, and I still continue to use it today and pick it for long range shooting because it is such an awesome sniper in my opinion. And uh, it did finish sixth, I mean tied for fifth, which isn't too bad, but I feel like a lot of people overlook this weapon because it doesn't have that big powerful one hit kill like a lot of the other snipers do. But it just does what it does well. It does the, it fits the role of that long range sniper in this game and i really like how hardline balanced snipers like that um that they gave some snipers one hit kills but the ones they didn't give one hit kills they gave extremely fast fire rates and still made them worth using um unlike the scout elite in battlefield 4. but as far as my opinion for the best sniper i'd probably rank it r700 awm 
M98B, 388 Recon, and then I don't really care. I do not think the Knockout deserves to be on this list. Um, going back to those stats that I was talking about earlier, the Knockout, other than the fact that it um, is a 1-8 kill out until 50 meters, it has zero advantages when compared to the other snipers. It has an extremely slow muzzle velocity, high bullet drop, and a pretty slow rate of fire, if I'm being completely honest. Um, the Knockout at launch, extremely OP. I feel like people just have that stigma that the fact that the Knockout is so hard to unlock, it's just automatically good. And while that was true at launch, it's not true anymore. The Knockout got heavily nerfed along with most of the other Syndicate weapons, and I don't find that it's that good anymore, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on this. Tell me your opinion down below in the comments, even though a lot of you probably already voted. Uh, the fact that the M90AB does have built-in Magnum rounds is a huge bonus for me. It makes it really useful and sort of justifies the slow rate of fire. Although, this is a big although, if you get the Magnum rounds for the AWM or the R700, they fire faster than this weapon. And like quite a bit faster, like eight rounds per minute faster. And they get that 50 meter one hit kill range. So if you just spend like $100,000, you can basically beat the M98B other than that big magazine. Um, but yeah, I don't really use the Magnum rounds too much on the guns just because I like their fast fire rates. But you can easily get a better weapon than the M98B if you want that 50 meter one hit kill range. If you just buy Magnum rounds for the R700 or the AWM. I do hope you guys didn't, did enjoy this video. It took me forever to make. Um, again, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here, and vote for the best assault rifle in the description below. But that's what it is. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.